Hey guys, welcome to my video on lysosomal storage diseases made easy. I'm going to start out by reminding you to please subscribe today and turn the notifications on. So in this video, I will be discussing all six high yield sphingolipidoses. There will be a separate video in the future for hunters and hurlers diseases. Two important things about the high yield sphingolipidoses. First of all, Gauchers and Newman picks are the only high yield sphingolipidoses that present with hepatosplenomegaly. Secondly, all high yield sphingolipidoses are autosomal recessive except for one. Fabry's disease is the only X linked high yield sphingolipidoses, and it is X linked recessive. It is caused by a deficiency in alpha galactosidase A, which causes an accumulation of ceramide trihexoside. The clinical presentation includes peripheral neuropathy of the hands and feet, as well as angiokeratomas. My way of remembering this is Sir Fabry's NGO is extremely caring. So the ser is for the accumulated substrate, which is ceramide trihexoside. The F and the H, so I spelled Fabry's with an H in it to remember that the feet and the hands are affected by peripheral neuropathy. NGO is for angio, carrying is for keratoma, and the X in extremely is for, is to remember that this is the only high yield sphingolipidosis that is X linked. Gaucher's disease is caused by deficiency of glucose cerebrosidase, and glucose cerebroside accumulates. It is the most common lysosomal storage disease. And the clinical presentation is hepatosplenomegaly, aseptic necrosis of the femur, and crumpled tissue paper-like macrophages called Goucher cells. And my way of remembering this is too much glue damages the former page into crumpled tissue paper. So too much glue helps you remember that glucocerebroside is the accumulated substrate. And you can also think of it as Glucher's disease instead of Goucher's disease. Damages the former, which helps you remember femur, because femur is affected by aseptic necrosis. Page or phage into crumpled tissue paper. So remember, the macrophages assume a crumpled tissue paper-like appearance, which we call Goucher cells. Neiman Pick's disease is caused by a deficiency in sphingomyelinase. So in this, sphingomyelin accumulates. Um, the clinical presentation is of progressive neurodegeneration, cherry red spot on the macula, and foam macrophages. My way of remembering this is I need to pick a cherry from a mile away. So the N and the D from need help me remember neurodegeneration. Pick is from the name, Neiman Pick. Cherry is for the cherry red spot on the macula, Foam is if you mispronounce from. A mile is for the accumulated substrate, which is sphingomyelin. Tay-Sachs disease is caused by a deficiency in the enzyme hexosaminidase A, and in this GM2 ganglioside accumulates. The clinical presentation is of a cherry red spot on the macula, progressive neurodegeneration, developmental delay, and onion skin appearing lysosomes. So my way of remembering this is need to take a gang to carry your sack of some onions and cherries. So of course the N and the D remind you about the neurodegeneration. Tay and take is for the name Tay from Tay Sacks. Gang is for the accumulated substrate, which is gangliocide. Sack is from Tay Sacks. Some onions is for the lysosomal appearance lysosomal appearance, which is of onion skin, and cherries is, of course, for the cherry red spot on the macula. Crab's disease is caused by deficiency of galactocerebrosidase, and in this, galactocerebroside accumulates. The clinical presentation is of peripheral neuropathy. There is also optic atrophy, globoid cells, and developmental delay. So my way of remembering this is crabs crawl all over the globe to galact pins and see trophies. 
crabs in this case helps you remember the name of the disease, but in my way of remembering it, you're thinking of the crustacean crab. Crawl helps you remember the developmental delay. Globe for the globoid cells. If you say galact really fast, it sounds like collect, and galact helps you remember that galactocerebroside is what accumulates. Pins helps you remember the peripheral neuropathy, and C trophies helps you remember that there is optic atrophy. Metachromatic leukodystrophy is caused by deficiency of aerosulfatase A, which causes accumulation of cerebroside sulfate. The clinical presentation is one with dementia and ataxia, so those are the most common clinical parts of the clinical presentation, and these are due to demyelination, which is both central and peripheral. So my way of remembering this, it, it is taxing to meet someone who forgot who you are all. So taxing for ataxia, met or meet for metachromatic, Someone who forgot helps you remember that dementia is a common clinical presentation and ARL is, is of course for the deficient enzyme which is aerosulfatase A. Thanks for watching my video. Please subscribe if you haven't.